Here we are back once again with a brand new adventures with Mr. and Mrs. Raver Monkey. And this week we are so lucky we get to go to the beautiful cheeky little island of Nusa de Bongan. This place will blow your mind. Come and join our adventures in YouTube and see how we get on. Let's go. So same as in the past, we get our little moped and drive across to Sanua Harbour, which is where we catch the ferry, which takes about half an hour to Nusa Limbongen. This harbour is super new. Have you seen us go to Nusa Panida? It's the same harbour in Sanua Beach. It's lovely. Nice clean toilets. Can't wait, we're all ready and going. Let's wait for the call out, giving us a little chance. Make sure we don't get lost. Let's face it, humans can get lost. But we won't. Here we are, where is she? Patty's taking her sweet ass time, as always. Here we go, we're off onto Ferry Vault. Not really a ferry, more like a speedboat. You ready to go into fifth gear? Where's my Auntie Sydney's pills? <laughs> So the ferry boat ride was super comfortable and always getting horror stories of people saying they get such a choppy ride going to islands, but this one was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. How was that? That was easy, half an hour. Staying at this cute little villa called Karang Mas, which is only about 10 minutes walk to Mushroom Beach. Come on, come here. Give for the next two days. Nice, cute beds. Check it out. Give your last fridge, aircon. I mean, this is the best bit. Come see the bathroom. <laughs> this is really cool. I love this. It's got an outdoor bathroom. And this outside. So after settling in nicely, we decided to do a bit of exploring around the local area of Nusa de Bongen and also try and find a bike. Thank you. See you soon. I'll watch that for you. The bike's not the best though. The bike's a little bit pants, so you have to wait. Should we get another one? I think so. Just to, we're going to use it for two days, might as well. Apart from that, it's really cool. It's very cool, and the roads are pretty mental, but just the way, isn't it? It's just going to be cool, and hopefully the beach will be down here. And the roads are really nice. We first drove along Jungut Batu Beach as we had in mind to inquire with a couple of dive shops about spending an afternoon diving. Very pretty here. It's been a bit of a gem trying to find some diving. It's been nice. Nice like that. I think all the tides properly in. It's very pretty down there. All that seaweed. Hmm. I think the guys actually eat all the seaweed. I think over that way, it's all like mangroves. So hopefully we must just I think we're going to be staying longer in this place. It seems like there's a lot to do. So the afternoon we decided to spend it on Mushroom Beach and watch the sunset. The beach itself is really pretty in beautiful sands and turquoise waters. Also, it's where most of the boats leave to go on trips and that when you arrive, it's the beach you probably arrive on as well. Today, we are off to a couple of places. We're off to Yellow Bridge, which takes us off to the other side of the island. We're off to Devil's Breath. I think, which is supposed to be Devil's a place, Tear. Devil's Tear, which is supposed to be a place where, boom, the waves crash the uh, the side of the limestone, and I think maybe some catacombs as well. So come join us. We can have a good day today. Let's go. 
Captain's Log. Today we are off on the bike. Our brand new Scoopy is so cute. It needs an oil change, but what can you do? You can't get it all the time. Me and Pat are going to get down on the Scoopy today. We've had a little bit of coffee. Patty saw a pot brunch last night. What can you do? <laughs> so she hasn't had much sleep, but we're going to get on it, going to go and explore and have a good day. We drove to Devil's Tears first, but it seemed a bit touristy when we got there, so we decided not to go for it. And in fact, we ended up finding something much more interesting to check out instead. And a seaweed farm, which um, the diving instructor has told us that they collected, and it's like 30k for a kilo of seaweed, which they then ship to Bali and it gets processed and sold for vegetarian food and things like that. It's super interesting, I've never seen anything like it. The diving instructor told us that during COVID, the local seaweed trade took a real hit. It drove the prices down so much that it was unsustainable for the farmers to the point where the government had to intervene. But now it's bounced back and it's the way it used to be. That's amazing. Yeah, this one I am still asking for the sweet farm. Yeah, for the basket. This article made from Lebanon. Well, how long did it take you to make this? Uh, all the painting stuck until finish one day. One day? Yes. Wow. Yes. Yep. You're very talented, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And what's your favourite piece if you had to choose one? No, yeah. what's your favourite? Ah, all, all of them. All of them, oh wow. All of them. I love the saxophone player, man. That's like. My favourite is the blue, the man's Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the blue one that I like is amazing. I couldn't hold it. Not a manta ray, but it's. Yeah, yeah, it's a little manta ray, yeah. Not the manta ray, yeah. Oh. <laughs> This is my thing on the soul also. I this saw one, it. yes, I read this one. And then here, the collector keep here only one month for the farmer's finding. Right. Because it's uh, made the, not, not of any publication, yeah? Just here, publication, maybe one month is okay for this publication. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, yes, it's the film, but I like it. Yeah, yes. <laughs> What's happening to your shoe there? It's still falling apart. <laughs> How cool is that? How's he that was super cool. Oh, what a legend. Work. Yeah, it's a real cool. And he does a lot of work with the, um, the local kids in the school. And yeah, just just really lots for cool charity. Guy. What a cool dude, eh? Well, I've never really met, I haven't really met an artist. Only the artists at Woodbridge. Jack Jack? Oh, Jack, apart from Jack Jack, of course. She's our number one artist. <laughs> but what a cool guy. Yeah. I absolutely love that. One of their manta ray paintings. Let's get one. Put our name on it. Shall we? <laughs> From Nusa Limbongen, there's a bridge called Yellow Bridge that connects the island to Nusa Cheningen, which we just had to check out by driving around it. Yellow Bridge Roads? We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. <laughs> so the cool guy who's um, working here, he just said that all the electricity has gone off on the island. So you can't have, you can't have any juices, there's no internet, things like the teal. And he doesn't know when he's going to be back. So it's going to be interesting to see what today's going to be like, if it keeps on. And the music is working on battery. Yeah, the music's working on battery. I was like, how the tunes working? He goes, oh, they've got battery pack. I was like, oh. <laughs> Very resourceful. Look at this. That was pretty good. The owner of this cafe was a super friendly guy. And just below us, there was a new harbour being built. So I'm sure in the future, there'll be a lot more people coming to this lovely island. <laughs> We're gonna go down that way towards the what? Hey, let's go. Hello. Yes, yeah, so we on a little trek. We left the bike that away. We're walking this way, and there should 
I mean, I don't know about jungle, it is paved. There's lots of uh, critters around, so you can be careful about it. One eye to the floor and one eye to the ceiling. <coughs> Good advice, Phil. Keep moving there, Phil. If something's rustling in the bushes, I'm not stopping to see what it is. A cul-de-sac. This is the view. Not really worth coming down. Oh, Phil. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, And you want to be poking it? Yeah. Of course you do. A little bit pokey -pokey. I'll be out in here in no time. Let's go. Let's go back. <laughs> Baby, just let me get down, baby. We're going all the way round to Ireland. <laughs> no. Hello. <laughs> Let's go. Go, Pat Myers. We can do it. After a bumpy ride on winding roads, we drove past Chenning and Cliffs and decided to have lunch there. Where are you, Pat? Nope. Nope. <laughs> 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 Hi. So we had this last nice, nice little viewpoint place. We've got a nice pool and just chilled out some food. Yes, and it's, it's nice. Super chill vibe. A couple of people here. It's nice enjoying the pool and there's some gado gado. It's beautiful view. Yeah. Yeah. It's very cold in it. Really pretty, yeah. How nice is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got a little table here. It's like a sit up bar. <laughs> Today, we are off to Hidden Beach or a secret beach. It's a little bit of both. Come and join us. It's a mystical journey we're going to get there. It should only take about 10 to 15 minutes. So come, little urchins, come with me. <laughs> yeah, let's try not go like that. <laughs> From the restaurant to the secret beach was only about 15 minutes on the bike, which is almost the length of the island itself. <laughs> This beach is quite unique in that the rocks formed pool-like pockets of water which were great to bathe in. It was a bumpy road and a little bit hairy but once we got here it was a hidden gem. Not so many people here with beautiful waters and lots of pools for you to go and relax in. Here we are, last couple of hours of sunlight left. It's been amazing isn't it today? Yeah, to sum up, news at Chiningang. Chiningang. Um <laughs> It's wonderful. It's this tiny island between Limbongan and Penida, and we didn't know what to expect, but definitely worth driving around. There's so many nice things here. Yeah, we're really lucky to have come here today, and like just off the hook, really. Don't really look at any Google Maps, just driving and uh, using the bike to, to find a bit to go. Yeah, definitely worth it. to explore this tiny island especially when you go off the beaten track a little bit if you're staying in bali i'd highly recommend visiting these two islands they're just lovely hello you Okay, so it's half seven in the morning. There's Patty, just woken up. We're off to get some breakfast and then we go in scuba diving and hopefully see some mantas. Some other little fishes. So in search for some breakfast, I've got the loudest shirt on in Bali. What do you think, Pat? I'm sleepy. Patty's sleepy. We love her though. 
I was really looking forward to this. So there was only six of us on the boat and we took our time to get to one of four snorkeling points. The first one is where we're hopefully going to go and see some mantas. As soon as we arrived in our first snorkeling point, which was Manta Bay, we saw some dolphins jump right out of the water. One thing about jumping the ocean, you never know what you're going to see. And with that, behold, we saw the most amazing manta ray swimming gracefully beside us. When we first arrived at the island, we'd considered diving, but we decided to go snorkeling instead, and it did really not disappoint. So keep a look Snorkeling. Some, the coral was the best I think I've ever seen. Beautiful. So manta rays, so dolphin. Yeah. Good morning, eh? Nice. And now we're off to a new place. So yeah, we can't wait for that. Just a little bit. Explore the rest of the island. Ready, Pat? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> what happened? We lost yesterday. <laughs> Get the restaurant and we found it again. <laughs> Ready? That's nice, little food, babe. Oh, well, shoot. Two really nice bits of food, the fish. And it's really cheap. And so now we're going to go to our new accommodation. Come and join us. Pat Marshall's going to wear a nervous shirt again. Hey, welcome. My name's Raven Monkey. How are you doing today? <laughs> so that brand new abode. Cheap as chips. And it's just nice. Got a nice air con. Nice, it's got pat mice, and then welcome to the bathroom. Let me show you. This little bathroom is cute. Nice outdoor facility inside its cold water. Are you in your socks, Phil? Yeah, I'm going to turn them off. Oh, I thought you were. Look at all these beautiful flowers. <laughs> These little beauty, can you eat these? This is the nicest shower experience ever. How nice is this? It's like a shower in the garden. <laughs> Tall, but nice. So we're down on the beautiful... Uh, what's it called? Oh, Dream Beach. <laughs> it's an absolute dream. And we came here yesterday and um, yeah, we couldn't really go in because the sea with the tide behind us. But um, yeah, going in the sea now is really, really nice. It is a dreamy beach. It is a bit dreamy. Definitely Just come back here. like you. Oh. That is a bit dreamy today. But um, now we're going to go off to, I think we'll have a drink at Sunset, Sunset Beach. beach. Uh, so that'd be pretty cool. But no lattes or coffee. Like we did so last otherwise time. Otherwise, he won't sleep at night. And Pat had two hours sleep. It was not nice. Not and last Carlos time. came to visit us at Carlo midnight. Carlos is a secret name for. It's Carlos the cockroach. <laughs> and I had to usher him off the bed. And he kindly declined. So, usher, he, yeah. so we had to help him. He got kablamoed. He did get kablamoed by my flip flop. By orders. <laughs> I'm not really up for, for hurting things, but unfortunately. Neither am I, but I make an exception for Carlos. Sleep like this. Oh, Pat. He's a bit dumb. Then you hang and get ready for breakfast now. Sounds good. Hey, morning, crew. So yeah, just want to say that it's really nice just to stay somewhere off the beaten track. Like we wasn't really supposed to be staying here an extra day. Um, they always get stuff on Booking.com, but it's really nice. We just drove around, went to a, like a homestay kind of thing. Um, and then yeah, literally staying in this really, really beautiful place. Very nice, tranquil. The family behind us own the own this place, and yeah, we'd definitely 100% rather give our money to 
to a family that's uh, yeah just like really lovely and very chilled to I don't know like a hotel or some something like that I think it's quite important but yeah can't wait gonna get some breakfast just waiting for Pat to shift and bust the groove but um yeah it's really nice and chill morning, morning. so we're at Kubu Sunset uh, guest house and now we're going to have some breakfast if you're eating a smoothie bowl never thought I'd see the day <laughs> oh yeah it was really tasty I used to have pancakes or something but the two I'm gonna start eating these a lot more it's so tasty yeah. no more carbs and no more chewy <laughs> stuff <laughs> Well, hello nice. there. Lady. <laughs> and I said, let's just drive in drive towards the mangrove, which is that way, but it's not for fear. It's really nice. Yes, yeah, nice lovely. Stuff. See Bali, the other side of the water. It's our last morning, eh? Yeah. It's a really cool little place. I'd love to come back to the end of the morning. A nice way to finish off a last day here in New Zealand. If you're after a lovely journey, only half an hour away from Bali, full of lovely sands and beautiful beaches, look no further than this beautiful island. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, see you next time. Bye.